Our names is Shannon, Sean, and Catherine. We are past and present members of Knock Haven Student Council. Every year, the pupils vote on who can be on the council. This year, I am the head girl, and Sean is our head boy. Some pupils in our school can talk, but we make sure we are there for everybody. We are. We get to have meetings and visit the student council at other schools. We chose a charity and speak at assemblies and big events. Calvin and I even got to speak in Stormont about children's rights. Sometimes we visit Down High School or they come to us. We meet with them with our student council to talk about the big issues that's important to us. Even though our schools are very different, we all have the same thoughts and feelings and all we all have students in our schools that struggle with mental health. We found out that more than 20% of young people struggle with mental health and it's much worse in Northern Ireland than the rest of the UK. Our two schools have worked together to make things better. Last year we learned about how important it is to take five action. Mental health told us all about five ways to well-being. We went to see Wonder and help choose kind campaigns in our school. We also took part in activities all linked to the five ways. We learned new soccer skills, gave back fundraising for charity and crossfire, took notice by doing yoga, got active with our mental health awareness dance day and even connected by going to Tito Park to have fun together. I love all of your children's rights. We made this book. Every pupil in Not Even and John High got a leaflet that we made. five ways that over 1,000 pupils who know more about mental health. We got a Gold Compassionate School Award for, from Children in Crossfire 2. We raised over 1,300 pounds for them. We inspire others in our school to do their bit too. The Eagle Committee got a green flag and we took part in a global protest. We also got a Magneton Friendly Award for making sure every pupil gets to have their say through their voice or science. Article 24 says that we have the right to be healthy and that includes mental health. We are amazed, we have an amazing school counsellor called Claire. She even took us to Lick to see ice creams made at the end of term. We all had a chance to talk to her when we had a problem, and that's great. But school counselling is only approved by the Department of Education for post-primary pupils. That means that younger children in our school who have 
Problems like illness, disability or death in their family have nobody to talk to. That can't be right. If the UNCRC was a law, then maybe everyone would get this. The children and teenager health service isn't fair. In Northern Ireland, there is a real problem getting services for people who have both a learning disability, autism, or complex needs and mental health issues. This is not okay. Our school tries hard to do things to help with our mental health, like relax kids and roots of empathy. I'm even in charge of our pets as Derby Dog. In RSE, we learned about the emotional effects of puberty and we even went for a bath fitting in Marks and Spencers to help us cope with this change. Sadly, most schools don't do this. Our school has to make decisions, write programs and pay for these things itself. We want more advice and more money. <laughs> Big changes are needed to support our children, especially those with disabilities, to cope with the world and have good mental health. <coughs> we are doing our bit and we hope you will too. Help us make the world a better place.